Poland, officially Republic of Poland, is a country in Central Europe. Most of the people are Polish. There are minorities of Ukrainians, Germans, and Belarusians. Poland consists almost entirely of lowlands in the northern and central regions. The southern border is largely formed by the Sudeten and the Carpathian Mountains. The Vistula and Oder, the principal river systems, both drain into the Baltic Sea. Industries include mining, manufacturing, and public utilities. Poland, country of Central Europe. Poland is located at a geographic crossroads that links the forested lands of northwestern Europe to the sea lanes of the Atlantic Ocean and the fertile plains of the Eurasian frontier. Now bounded by seven nations, Poland has waxed and waned over the centuries, buffeted by the forces of regional history. In the early Middle Ages, Poland's small principalities and townships were subjugated by successive waves of invaders, from Germans and Balts to Mongols. In the mid-1500s, United Poland was the largest state in Europe and perhaps the continent's most powerful nation. Yet two and a half centuries later, during the partitions of Poland, from 1772 to 1918, it disappeared, parceled out among the contending empires of Russia, Prussia, and Austria. Even at a time of national crisis, however, Polish culture remained strong, indeed, it even flourished, if sometimes far from home. Polish revolutionary ideals, carried by such distinguished patriots as Kazimierz Pulaski and Tadeusz Kosciuszko, informed those of the American Revolution. The Polish Constitution of 1791, the oldest in Europe, in turn incorporated ideals of the American and French revolutions. Poles later settled in great numbers in the United States, Canada, Argentina, and Australia and carried their culture with them. At the same time, Polish artists of the Romantic period, such as pianist Frédéric Chopin and poet Adam Mickiewicz, were leading lights on the European continent in the 19th century. Following their example, Polish intellectuals, musicians, filmmakers, and writers continue to enrich the world's arts and letters. Restored as a nation in 1918 but ravaged by two world wars, Poland suffered tremendously throughout the course of the 20th century. World War II was particularly damaging, as Poland's historically strong Jewish population was almost wholly annihilated in the Holocaust. Millions of non-Jewish Poles also died, victims of more partition and conquest. With the fall of the Third Reich, Poland effectively lost its independence once again, becoming a communist satellite state of the Soviet Union. Nearly a half-century of totalitarian rule followed, though not without strong challenges on the part of Poland's workers, who, supported by a dissident Catholic Church, called the economic failures of the Soviet system into question. In the late 1970s, beginning in the shipyards of Gdańsk, those workers formed a nationwide movement called Solidarity Solidarność. Despite the arrest of Solidarity's leadership, its newspapers kept publishing, spreading its values and agenda throughout the country. In May 1989 the Polish government fell, along with communist regimes throughout Eastern Europe, beginning Poland's rapid transformation into a democracy. By the turn of the 21st century, Poland was a market-based democracy, abundant in products of all kinds and a member of both NATO and the European Union, allied more strongly with Western Europe than with Eastern Europe but, as always, squarely between them. A land of striking beauty, Poland is punctuated by great forests and rivers, broad plains, and tall mountains. Warsaw, the country's capital, combines modern buildings with historic architecture, most of which was heavily damaged during World War II but has since been faithfully restored in one of the most thoroughgoing reconstruction efforts in European history. Other cities of historic and cultural interest include Poznan, the seat of Poland's first bishopric, Gdańsk, one of the most active ports on the busy Baltic Sea, and Krakow, a historic center of arts and education and the home of Pope John Paul II, who personified for the Polish their country's struggle for independence and peace in modern times. Poland lies at the physical center of the European continent, approximately between latitudes 49 degrees and 55 degrees north and longitudes 14 degrees and 24 degrees east irregularly circular in shape, it is bordered to the north by the Baltic Sea, to the northeast by Russia and Lithuania, and to the east by Belarus and Ukraine. To the south the border follows the watershed of the Beskid, Carpathian, and Sudeten Mountains, which separate Poland from Slovakia and the Czech Republic, while to the west the Nice and Oder rivers define the border with Germany. Its current frontiers, stretching for 2,198 miles, were drawn in 1945. Except for its southern mountainous regions, the country consists almost entirely of lowlands within the North European plain. 
The natural landscape of Poland can be divided broadly into three relief groups, the lowlands, the highlands, and the mountains. The eastern extremes of Poland display characteristics common to Eastern Europe, but the rest of the country is linked to Western Europe by structure, climate, and the character of its vegetation. The lowland characteristics predominate. The average elevation of the whole country is only 568 feet or 173 meters above sea level, while more than three-fourths of the land lies below 650 feet or 198 meters. The Baltic coastal plain stretches across northern Poland from Germany to Russia, forming a low-lying region built of various sediments. It is largely occupied by the ancient province of Pomerania. The Pomeranian Bay in the west and the Gulf of Gdańsk in the east are the two major inlets. In the southern portion of the former, two islands block off the Szczecinski Lagoon, into which the Oder River discharges its waters. In the Gulf of Gdańsk, the Vistula River forms a large delta. Sandbars, on which the winds have created large dunes, line much of the coast, separating the coastal lakes and lagoons from the sea. The main urban centers are the ports of Szczecin on the lower Oder and Gdańsk and Gdynia in the east. The central portion of the Baltic coastal plain is scantily populated, there are only small fishing ports, of which Kolobrzeg is the most important and the landscape has a desolate beauty. The Sudeten region contains rich mineral deposits, notably coking coal, which has occasioned the growth of an industrial center around Walbrzeg. The region has many small towns. Resorts and spas are found in more secluded areas. The foreland of the Sudeten, separated by a large fault from the larger mass, contains many granite quarries. The southernmost, and most scenic, portion of Poland embraces the Carpathian Mountains and their associated chains and basins. The sub-Carpathian basins contain deposits of salt, sulfur, and natural gas and some petroleum. The region has a large rural population, but there are also many towns of medium size. The highest peak of the Beskid Mountains, Mount Babia, reaches 5,659 feet or 1,725 meters. The Tatras, with a maximum elevation of 8,199 feet or 2,499 meters, are the highest portion of the Polish Carpathians. Virtually the entire area of Poland drains to the Baltic Sea, about half via the Vistula River and a third via the Oder River. In spring, melted snow swells the lowland rivers. The summer rains bring a second maximum about the beginning of July. There are some 9,300 Polish lakes with areas of more than 2.5 acres or 1 hectare, and their total area is about 1,200 square miles or 1% of the national territory. Varying types of air masses collide over Poland, influencing the character of both weather and climate. The major elements involved are oceanic air masses from the west, cold polar air from Scandinavia or Russia, and warmer, subtropical air from the south. The overall climate of Poland has a transitional, and highly variable, character between maritime and continental types. Six seasons may be clearly distinguished, a snowy winter of one to three months, an early spring of one or two months, with alternating wintry and spring-like conditions, a predominantly sunny spring, a warm summer with plenty of rain and sunshine, a sunny, warm autumn, and a foggy, humid period signifying the approach of winter. Sunshine reaches its maximum over the Baltic in summer and the Carpathians in winter, and mean annual temperatures range from 8 degrees Celsius in the southwestern lowlands to 7 degrees Celsius in the colder northeast. The climate of the mountains is determined by altitude. The annual average precipitation is about 610 mm, but in the mountains the figure approaches 787 to 1194 mm, dropping to about 457 mm in the central lowlands. In winter, snow makes up about half the total precipitation in the plains and almost all of it in the mountains. Before World War II the Polish lands were noted for the richness and variety of their ethnic communities. The traditional provinces of Silesia and Pomerania were home to a significant minority of Germans. In the southeast, Ukrainian settlements predominated in the regions east of Chelm and in the Carpathian Mountains east of Nawi Sanch. In all the towns and cities, there were large concentrations of Yiddish-speaking Jews. The Polish ethnographic area stretched eastward, in Lithuania, Belarus, and western Ukraine, all of which had a mixed population, Poles predominated not only in the cities but also in numerous rural districts. There were significant Polish minorities in Dagobpils, in Latvia, Minsk, in Belarus, and Kiev, in Ukraine. The war, however, killed vast numbers of people, precipitated massive migrations, and radically altered borders. 
As a consequence, the population of Poland became one of the most ethnically homogeneous in the world. In addition, minority ethnic identity was not cultivated publicly until after the collapse of communism in 1989. Virtually all of Poland's people claim Polish nationality, with Polish as their native tongue. Now, in the 21st century, most communities of non-Poles are dispersed but reside in the border provinces, primarily in the south. Ukrainians are scattered in various southwestern and northern districts. Belarusians and Lithuanians live in areas adjoining Belarus and Lithuania, respectively. The country's official language, Polish, together with other Lakitic languages and Czech, Slovak, and Upper and Lower Sorbian, belongs to the West Slavic branch of Slavic languages. It has several dialects that correspond in the main to the old tribal divisions, the most significant of these, in terms of numbers of speakers, are Great Polish, spoken in the Northwest, Little Polish, spoken in the Southeast, Mazovian, and Silesian, Slezany. Mazovian shares some features with Kashubian, whose remaining speakers number only a few thousand, which is a small percentage of the ethnic Kashubian in the country. Elsewhere, the Polish language has been influenced by contact with foreign tongues. After 1945, as the result of mass education and mass migrations, standard Polish became far more homogeneous, although regional dialects persist. In the western and northern territories, resettled in the second half of the 20th century in large measure by Poles from the Soviet Union, the older generation came to speak a language characteristic of the former eastern provinces. Small numbers of people also speak Belarusian, Ukrainian, and German as well as several varieties of Romani. Literary Polish developed from the medieval period onward, on the basis of the dialects of Great Poland and Little Poland. By the 19th century Polish was well established both as a literary vehicle and as the dominant language of common speech in Poland, despite attempts of the partitioning powers to Germanize or Russify the population. Indeed, quite the opposite happened, and the Polish language became the main touchstone of national identity. The overwhelming majority of the Polish population is Roman Catholic, and a large number are practicing Catholics. Though the country claims no official religion, Poland is among the most uniformly Catholic countries in the world, and the Roman Catholic Church in Poland enjoys immense social prestige and political influence. The Constitution of 1997 guarantees religious freedom. Poland has residual communities of Polish Jews, whose synagogues and religious activities were officially sanctioned by the communist government. There are nearly an equal number of Muslims in Poland, located primarily in the east, near Bialystok. Small Christian groups representing fundamentalist sects such as the Seventh-day Adventists and the Jehovah's Witnesses operate in a few cities. The population of Poland was transformed during and immediately after World War II. Nearly 35 million people lived within the Polish frontiers in 1939, but by 1946 only about 24 million resided within the country's new borders. The decrease of some 11 million can be accounted for mainly by war losses but also in part by changes in frontiers. Emigration was a permanent feature of Polish life for most of the 19th and 20th centuries, and roughly one Pole in three lives abroad. Wave after wave of political emigres has left Poland since the mid-18th century. By far the greatest numbers of people left, however, for economic reasons. Starting in the mid-19th century, Polish emigrants moved into the new industrial areas of Europe and later to the United States and Canada. Rapid industrialization following World War II in Poland, as well as in neighboring Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Eastern Germany, severely polluted many areas of the country. By the late 20th century, the Polish Academy of Sciences had described Poland as one of the most polluted countries in the world. Upper Silesia and Krakow, in particular, had suffered some of the highest levels of atmospheric and groundwater pollution in Europe. Several areas of central Poland, where cement is produced and brown coal, lignite, is burned, also were contaminated by air pollution. The country's major rivers remain badly polluted by industrial and urban effluents, and Poland's cities and larger towns are major sources of pollution. Much higher levels of respiratory disease, abnormal pregnancy, and infant mortality have been reported in areas of environmental degradation. Pollution has also reduced crop yields and adversely affected tree growth in many of the forests in the Sudeten and Western Carpathians. The problems of environmental degradation were not officially recognized until the early 1970s and were not addressed until the Solidarity Movement began agitating in the early 1980s. 
Significant reduction in the emission of pollutants occurred, however, as a consequence of the rapid fall in industrial production in the early 1990s, following the abandonment of communism and the introduction of economic reforms. Throughout the decade the government implemented anti-pollution policies, such as closing the most damaging industrial plants. The vegetation of Poland that has developed since the last ice age consists of some 2,250 species of seed plants, 630 mosses, 200 liverworts, 1,200 lichens, and 1,500 fungi. Palarctic elements, i.e., those pertaining to the temperate belt of the northern hemisphere, are dominant among the seed plants. More than one-fourth of the country is wooded, with the majority set aside as public property. Poland lies in the zone of mixed forests, but in the southeast a fragment of the forest steppe vegetation zone intrudes. In the northeast there are portions of the eastern European subtaiga, with spruce as a characteristic component. In the mountains the vegetation, like the climate, is determined by elevation. Fir and beech woods give way to the spruce of the upper woods, which in turn fade into subalpine, alpine, and snow line vegetation. Poland's animal life belongs to the European West Siberian Zoo Geographic Province, itself part of the Palearctic subregion, and is closely linked with the vegetation cover. Among the vertebrate fauna are nearly 400 species, including many types of mammals and more than 200 native birds. Deer and wild pigs roam the woods, elk inhabit the coniferous forests of the northeast, and steppe rodents, such as the brindled gopher, live in the south. Wildcats live in the mountain woods, and the chamois and marmot are found at the highest levels. Brown bears live in the Carpathian Mountains. The European bison, or wisent, which once roamed widely across the continent but became extinct in the wild following World War I, once again roams the Great Bialowieza Forest in national parks on both sides of the Polish-Belarusian border, having been reintroduced by using zoo-bred animals. The Constitution of Poland's post-war socialist state, the Polish People's Republic, took effect in 1952 but was amended numerous times, most significantly in early 1989, when constitutional reforms worked out between the government and solidarity were passed by the same. Additional reforms passed later in 1989 by the legislature included the guarantee of free formation of political parties and the return of the state's official name to the Republic of Poland. The new Constitution of 1997, which replaced a 1992 interim constitution, was adopted in April by the National Assembly approved in a national referendum in May, and promulgated in October. The Constitution confirmed the mixed presidential parliamentary form of government that had been established during the period 1989-92. Under its provisions the President is directly elected to not more than two five-year terms. The President serves as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, has the power to declare martial law or a state of emergency, and can veto an act of the same, which in turn can override that veto with a three-fifths majority vote. The President nominates the Prime Minister and, on the Prime Minister's recommendation, the Cabinet, subject to the same's approval, but the President cannot dismiss the government. Deputies in the same and Senators are popularly elected to four-year terms. Laws must be adopted by both Houses. The Senate has the right to amend or reject a law passed by the same. The same may override the Senate's decision with a majority vote. The same appoints the members of the Constitutional Tribunal, the Commissioner for Civil Rights Protection, the Chairman of the Supreme Chamber of Control, and the President of the Bank of Poland. The main executive power is vested in the Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers, who are responsible to the same. The government can be terminated by the same only by a constructive vote of no confidence. The Prime Minister has a role comparable to that of a Chancellor in the German political system. Local government in Poland is organized on three levels. The largest units, at the regional level, are the Wojewodstwa provinces, which were consolidated and reduced in number from 49 to 16 in 1999. At the next level are some 300 Powiaty counties or districts, followed by about 2,500 Gminy towns and rural communes. The last are the fundamental territorial units within Poland. The status of the capital city of Warsaw is regulated by a special legislation. Both Powiaty and Gminy are governed by councils, elected to four-year terms. These councils in turn elect the heads of local administration. The representatives to the Sejmiki Wojewodzki also are elected to four-year terms. The head of provincial administration, the Wojewoda, is nominated by the Prime Minister. The Constitution guarantees the independence of the judiciary. The supreme representative of the judiciary is the National Council of the Judiciary. 
Poland has a Supreme Court and other special judicial bodies including the High Administrative Court, Military Courts, and Industrial Tribunals as well as General Courts, comprising Appellate, Provincial, and District Courts. General courts deal with criminal, civil, and family matters, commercial courts deal with civil law disputes between businesses. The Constitutional Tribunal provides judicial review of legislation. The Tribunal of State reviews violations of the Constitution and other laws by the top state officials. Before World War II, Poland was a free market economy based largely upon agriculture but with a few important centers of manufacturing and mining. After the initiation of communist rule in the 1940s, the country developed an increasingly industrial, state-run command economy based on the Soviet model. It operated within the rigid framework of Comicon, Council on Mutual Economic Assistance, an organization of Eastern Bloc countries dominated by the Soviet Union. From the mid-1970s the Polish economy struggled with limited growth, largely as a result of an antiquated industrial infrastructure, government subsidies that masked inefficient production, and wages that were artificially high relative to productivity. In the late 1980s a swelling government deficit and hyperinflation brought about economic crisis. As a result, in the early 1990s, industrial output and gross domestic product GDP, dropped significantly, agricultural production also fell, though largely because of drought. Unemployment grew, affecting as many as one in seven poles. Inflation, however, began to drop, from 250% in 1990 to 10% in 2000. Production and GDP also recorded dramatic turnarounds, with an average annual GDP growth of about 4% from 1990 to 2000. Poland's balance of payments improved, partly as the result of debt forgiveness, and the country developed one of the leading economies of the former Eastern Bloc, as well as one of the fastest growing in Europe. The percentage of unemployed persons, however, rose once again in the early 21st century, climbing above 18% in 2003, when a downturn in the Polish economy was accelerated by a worldwide economic slowdown. Nevertheless, the Polish economy was quickly back on track and continued to expand even during the 2008-09 global financial crisis, when Poland was the only European country whose economy did not slip into recession. In post-communist Poland, as private businesses proliferated, a small number of people became wealthy, and a middle class composed of entrepreneurs and urban professionals emerged. However, many people, in particular those on fixed incomes, suffered sharp declines in their standard of living. Crime, drug use, and corruption also increased, but such problems are not uncommon elsewhere in Europe. Also, greater wealth was found in western provinces near Germany than in eastern districts near Belarus and Ukraine. As it made the transition to private ownership and the market economy, Poland became increasingly involved with international economic and political organizations. In 1991 it joined the Council of Europe, in 1995 it became a member of the World Trade Organization, and in 1996 it joined the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It gained full membership in NATO in 1999, along with Hungary and the Czech Republic. An associate member of the European Union since 1994, Poland ascended to full membership in 2004. Polish agriculture was unique in the Soviet bloc in that private farms accounted for most of total output. In post-communist Poland farm incomes declined rapidly in real terms as the prices of industrial products rose, and imported processed foods from Western Europe competed strongly with lower quality Polish products. Nevertheless, Poland remains one of the world's leading producers of rye and potatoes. Other principal crops include wheat and sugar beets. As Poland became increasingly integrated into the global economy during the mid-1990s, about half its agricultural exports went to the EU. The fishing industry in Poland is small, and the total fish catch is between 200,000 and 300,000 metric tons per year. Poland is relatively well endowed with natural resources. Its principal mineral asset is bituminous coal, although brown coal is mined as well. Most of the bituminous output is derived from the rich Upper Silesian coalfield. During the late 20th century, however, extraction costs in many mines began to exceed profits. Falling prices and the challenges of privatization have slowed production levels. Other fuel resources include small amounts of petroleum and moderately large deposits of natural gas. Sulfur is Poland's second most important mineral, and the Republic ranks among the world leaders in both reserves and production. 
Other important nonmetallic minerals include barite, salt, kaolin, limestone, chalk, gypsum, and marble. The historic salt mine in Wielitska, near Krakow, has been in continuous use since the 13th century. In 1978 it was among the first places to be named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Poland also has important deposits of metallic minerals such as zinc and is a major world producer of copper and silver. In the 2010s nearly nine-tenths of Poland's energy was provided by thermal plants fired by bituminous coal and lignite. Renewable sources contributed about another one-tenth of the country's energy output. Natural gas has largely replaced manufactured gas. Poland imports almost all of its petroleum and petroleum products. In the early 21st century, mineral fuels and lubricants constituted between one-twentieth and one-tenth of all imports. On the other hand, about one-fifteenth of electricity generated in Poland was exported. The bulk of the country's hydroelectricity comes from the Carpathians, the Sudeten region, and the Berda and Vistula rivers. The communications system in Poland developed in the 19th and early 20th centuries, when the country was divided between Russia, Germany, and Austria. At the start of the 21st century, Poland had 11.4 million main telephone lines and more than 10 million cellular telephone users. In online communications the number of internet users 3.8 million slightly exceeded the number of personal computers 3.3 million, reflecting the presence of multiple users per terminal and of public computer stations. Televisions and radios were ubiquitous in Poland, with 15 and 20 million units, respectively. As a general assessment, liberalized telecom markets supported by market competition in broadband and mobile sectors ensuring access to cable and fiber infrastructure, rapid extension of LTE networks and development of mobile data service, mobile penetration is above European average. Fixed broadband benefits from DSL infrastructure and investment in fiber through EU support, major importer of broadcasting equipment and accessories from Germany. On domestic level, several nationwide networks provide mobile cellular service, fixed line roughly 15 per 100, service lags in rural areas, mobile cellular over 130 per 100 persons. Landing points for the Baltica and the Denmark-Poland 2 submarine cables connecting Poland, Denmark and Sweden, international direct dialing with automated exchanges, satellite Earth Station 1 with access to Intelsat, Eutelsat, Inmarsat, and Intersputnik. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to have a significant impact on production and supply chains globally. Since 2020, some aspects of the telecom sector have experienced downturn, particularly in mobile device production. Many network operators delayed upgrades to infrastructure. Progress towards 5G implementation was postponed or slowed in some countries. Consumer spending on telecom services and devices was affected by large-scale job losses and the consequent restriction on disposable incomes. The crucial nature of telecom services as a tool for work and school from home became evident, and received some support from governments. State-run public TV operates two national channels supplemented by 16 regional channels and several niche channels. Privately owned entities operate several national TV networks and a number of special interest channels. Many privately owned channels broadcasting locally, roughly half of all households are linked to either satellite or cable TV systems providing access to foreign television networks. State-run public radio operates five national networks and 17 regional radio stations, two privately owned national radio networks, several commercial stations broadcasting to multiple cities, and many privately owned local radio stations. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, when the country was divided between Russia, Germany, and Austria. The three areas thus developed in different economic and political conditions, and the main railway lines were centered on the capitals of the three empires. The density of the railway networks in the three sectors was uneven. In 1918 independent Poland took over the railroad system and redesigned and rebuilt it according to the standard European gauge. Among the most important railway lines built after that date were those linking Warsaw with Poznan and Krakow and a coal trunk line linking Upper Silesia with the newly built seaport of Gdynia. After the devastation of World War II, the railway system was reconstructed once again, and the most heavily used lines were converted to electric power. Because of the location of the country, Polish lines were important in the carriage of transit freight among the socialist countries of Eastern Europe, notably between the Soviet Union and East Germany and between Czechoslovakia and Poland's ports. 
In the last decade of the 20th century, there was a 41% drop in railway tonnage and a 58% decrease in passenger trips by rail. The railways, administered by the Polish State Railways Polski Koleje Państwa, began the process of privatization in the early 21st century. Light rail is available to commuters in more than a dozen cities. The highway system originally showed disproportions similar to those of the railways, that is, the densest network was on land belonging to Germany and the least dense on land belonging to Russia. An attempt to remedy this situation was made between 1918 and 1938 and again, though more intensively, after 1945. Modern multilane highways designed for high traffic volumes have been built in Warsaw, and projects have been undertaken to link Warsaw to provincial centers, but the road system in general is of low quality. About two-thirds of its 263,000 miles is paved. In the 1990s the government began construction of limited-access highways built to European standards. The middle course of the main Polish river, the Vistula, contains many navigational hazards, and the river is thus a less important waterway than the smaller Oder. The modern Gliwice Canal links the Oder to the Upper Silesian industrial region and carries coal to the port of Szczecin. The Oder Basin is also linked to the lower Vistula by the Bydgoszcz Canal. Inland navigation is of little importance in Poland, however, with less than 1% of Polish freight being carried on rivers and canals. On the other hand, shipping is well developed, and there are three large seaports, Szczecin, the largest, Gdynia, and Gdańsk, as well as, smaller fishing and coastal navigation ports. Passenger air traffic has more than doubled since the collapse of Polish communism. Domestic and international air transport is provided by LOT from Polski Linii Lotnis, a state-owned enterprise that completed negotiations for partial privatization in 1999. There are numerous international routes centered on the airport at Warsaw. Other airports are located in Krakow, Gdańsk, Wrocław, Katowice, Poznan, and Szczecin. Poland's armed forces consist of three services, the Army, the Air Force, and the Navy. They are divided into the four military districts of Warsaw, Pomerania, Krakow, and Silesia. Under the communist government the armed forces were highly politicized. The military command was controlled by the party's main political administration, which also oversaw the political indoctrination and supervision of all units. Most officers were party members. Senior officers normally graduated from Soviet academies. One of the founding members of the Warsaw Pact, a mutual defense organization dominated by the Soviet Union, Poland supplied the second largest contingent to its forces. After the organization dissolved in 1991, Poland's forces were depoliticized in preparation for joining NATO. Poland, along with the Czech Republic and Hungary, joined NATO on March 12, 1999. That year compulsory military service was reduced from 18 months to 12 months. Beginning in 1988, conscientious objectors were allowed to perform a civilian alternative to conscription. The regular defense of Poland's frontiers is provided by the Border Guard. The Office of the Protection of the State UOP, established in 1990, was charged with the country's intelligence services. In 2002 it was replaced by the Internal Security Agency ABW. Normal civilian police services are under the authority of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Under the communist government, police services were undertaken by the Citizens' Militia, of which the motorized detachments of the Citizens' Militia ZOMO, acted as a mobile paramilitary riot squad, and the Security Service SB, a secret political police force. In the early 1980s ZOMO played a key role in enforcing martial law and controlling demonstrations. The paramilitary nature of the Policia police, as they became known after 1990, has diminished. The inventory of the Polish armed forces consists of a mix of Soviet-era and more modern Western weapons systems. Since 2010, the leading suppliers of armaments to Poland are Finland, Germany, Italy, and the U.S. In late 2018, Poland announced a seven-year, through 2026, approximately $50 billion defense modernization plan that would include such items as fifth-generation combat aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, rocket artillery, helicopters, submarines, frigates, and improved cyber security. Poland contributes about 2,500 troops to the Lithuania, Poland, and Ukraine Joint Military Brigade, which was established in 2014. The brigade is headquartered in Poland and is comprised of an international staff, three battalions, and specialized units. 
Poland hosts a NATO-led divisional headquarters, Multinational Division Northeast, operational in 2018, which coordinates training and preparation activities of its respective subordinate battlegroups in Poland and Lithuania. Poland also hosts a core-level headquarters, Multinational Corps Northeast. As a member state that forms part of the EU's external border, Poland has implemented the strict Schengen border rules to restrict illegal immigration and trade along its eastern borders with Belarus and Ukraine. Refugees and internally displaced persons were roughly 9,870, from Russia, in 2019 and 2,490,447, 4 as of 5 April 2022. While, there are 1,289 stateless persons, as per mid-year 2021. Poland is a source country for amphetamines, an illicit drug. Did you know? Poland is located in the exact geographical center of the European continent. Poland is the first European country and second country overall to have written a constitution, although the constitution has changed as recently as 1997. Poland's flag is divided between two equally sized horizontal strips, with white on top and red on bottom. Its flag is thus extremely similar to those of Monaco and Indonesia, which are in the reverse orientation, and that of Singapore, which is in the reverse orientation but with a crescent and stars in the top half. On September 1, 1939, Poland was invaded by Germany despite never having made a declaration of war, igniting World War II. It remained the only European country to neither cooperate with nor surrender a battle to the Nazis. There has only ever been one Polish pope, Pope John Paul II, born Karol Józef Wojtyła, was born in Wadowice, Poland and served as Pope from October 16, 1978 until his death on April 2, 2005. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share this video to help us bring you more exciting stuff.